Hello everyone, this is Mark from Servermania. In this video, we're going to talk about how to test server network speed. This is a question we receive a lot in support, especially with our 10 gigabit per second servers. Customers want to make sure that they're actually receiving the product that they ordered, so they want to have a way to test the server network speed. However, once they actually run a speed test, they usually notice that they're not going to receive exactly 10 gigabits per second or 1 gigabits per second for 1G servers. We'd just like to talk about some of the limitations of testing network speed and what you can expect when you do perform a network speed test. So the question we often get is, will I see 10 gigabit per second speeds when testing a 10G connection? And the short answer to that is no. There's a number of limitations to speed testing, which we'll go through briefly. You can review this article here for more in-depth information. Essentially, there's very few speed test servers available, which actually have the capacity to test a 10 gigabits per second server in a single connection. As well, you have to think about network overhead. When a packet is sent, there's information included on top of the actual size of the packet telling it where it actually needs to go. This is referred to as network overhead. So when you're trying to deliver a file, you need to account for that. As well, you need to think about hardware limitations. Depending on the IOPS of the server, the processor, the hard drives, you may not actually see full 10G speeds. So you need to make sure your hardware is optimized for the speed as well. One of the best analogies is the highway analogy. When thinking about comparing network port speeds from 1 gigabit per second to 10 gigabits per second and above, on a 10 lane highway, you can most certainly go faster than a single lane because there is less traffic in your way. 10 people could also drive at the same speed, roughly as a single person on a one lane highway. However, it's not feasible to drive 10 times as fast on a single connection. You need to factor in the limitations of your car, the destination server, and any network overhead, as previously discussed. So how do you actually test server network speed? We're going to use a tool called IPERF3. This is one of the best tools to use to actually f see the full connection speed because it opens multiple simultaneous connections to the testing server. Now, you're still not going to see the full 10G speed or 1 gigabits per second speed in this test, but this is what you should look out for. So once you've logged into SSH of the server, we'll need to install the utility. Once it's installed, we can actually perform the command. Now in this case, this is a 1 gigabits per second connection, so I'm going to set it to 1G, and it's going to perform the test. From here you can see the speed is around 937 megabits per second, so pretty close to our 1 gigabit per second connection. When you're talking about 10G servers, you're not going to get that close to 10 gigabits per second, again just because of testing server limitations. However, this is what you can expect. Uh, and one thing to note with a 10G server is even though you're not going to see the full speed test, you are on a dedicated 10G line and when you're maintaining multiple simultaneous connections from different locations, you will be able to leverage the full capacity of the port. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.